just dog tired. It has been a long day. At the crack of dawn, we pick up our luggage from Tlangmoy village and start hiking to the interiors of the East Jointia Hills in Meghalaya. These green ranges hide beneath them some of the most mysterious caves. After walking for hours, we reach the valley and set up camp on a rocky and dry riverbed beside the entrance to one of India's deepest shaft caves, Krem Um Ladao. The sun is about to set, time is running out. But the challenging exercise of preparing the route for our descent planned for the next day has to happen now. I have always been fascinated by caves. This one is extra special. Krem Umladao is one of the deepest and least explored shaft caves in India. But that is not all. There is another mystery that has drawn me into this underworld. The world's largest cave fish, a blind fish that was discovered in 2019 in Umladao. I first came to Umladao in February 2021. That is when I realized how much of a challenge exploring it was going to be. Scaling this cave is a meticulous and technical task, only possible with a trained team and with the right equipment. Lindsay Brian Diendo and Sun Cooper Maolong, or Ronnie, from Meghalaya joined us for the earlier expedition to this cave. During the first trip, I was apprehensive about how much we could accomplish. So I didn't carry all my heavy equipment. But in the depths of darkness, when I saw the blind fish, I knew I had to come back. And I am back. Walimbok Lingdo and Temiki Sungo are accompanying me this time. It's 5 in the evening. Now we are planning to fix the rope. We must shimmy down ropes that hang up bolts as we find our feet from one sharp vertical section or a peach to another. Umlada has five pitches, a combination of vertical walls and overhangs. The cave is about 350 feet deep, but the total length of the descent is much more. The rope is fixed for tomorrow. Now I have to climb back. But I'm very tired. 
After nearly 18 hours of hiking, camping, fixing ropes, it is time to call it a day. Chalo, so this is ready. This gigantic machine for which I came back. We begin our way in. Rappelling down the wet vertical walls and overhangs is tricky. And then changing runners midway at anchor points is an added task. But the team is rearing to go. In the short ledges along the vertical walls, we spot many small pools. These little pools hold clues to life inside caves. Each one brims with possibilities. The world beneath shifts my sense of time. Hours seems like minutes in the dark void. At last, my feet touch the cave floor. As I flash my torch around, the enormous cave opens up to me. See, lots of shrimps are here. So last time, we missed uh, like small fish and shrimp. This time I'm carrying the diversity of life I see in this deep, dark shaft 
boggles my mind. Like this fungi that is spreading its tentacles on the cave floor. These fossils, I am not even sure how old these are and how many secrets to evolution they hold within them. And then, after navigating through a large horizontal passage, I meet the superstars of Om Ladao. The world's largest cave adapted are troglobitic blind fish. Generally, Cave fish species are smaller in size as they live in permanent darkness with little food or prey to eat. But the fish here are much bigger. And this is what makes Umlada different. The cave is a sink located under a river that flows through Jointia Hills. It is only accessible in the winter when the riverbed is dry. But in the monsoon, when the river flows, the cave floods bringing in debris and some life forms. It is possible that the cave dwelling species use this inflow as food, giving them better nourishment than usual in a cave setting. Like this stem could have come in as a seed, germinated inside and is now growing surprisingly tall in search of light. But in the absence of light, it will die soon. My two visits inside Umlada have surprised me a little more each time. In my previous visit, I found a thriving Pope Speed Viper at the bottom of the cave. To see any life flourishing in subterranean conditions is amazing. But then to see a rare land reptile deep inside a cave left me puzzled and curious. This time around, I see a frog close to the pool of blind fish. Probably a new species of Leptobrachium. But I wonder if it lives here or is simply visiting. My head is full of questions. I want to stay longer, but the hardest part is still not over. Zoomering up the 350 feet wall with big overhangs awaits. The ascent to the world of light will take me about four hours. This journey to the heart of darkness has been unbelievable. And I was lucky to have a great team. After two expeditions over four weeks, I got answers to many of my questions, but I returned with even more. The quest indeed has just begun.